There are so many positive things that the Humane Society does, but some of the stories really touch our hearts. Now take a look at this. It is hard to tell, but this is little Tito. He came into the Humane Society, and as you can see, he was barely hanging on after being neglected, but thanks to what the Humane Society can do with your donations, this is Tito today. Chelsea Marks and Diana Cannon both join us to talk about Tito's amazing journey. Ladies, thank you so much. This is amazing. I can't even Look believe. It. I can't oh, even believe this is the same Tito. dog. Chelsea, so tell us about your story and how you came to fall in love with Tito. Uh, well, Tito came into the Humane Society at owner's request for for an end-of-life service. Um, I couldn't do it. I just saw too much life in his eyes. I, I went to my higher-ups and asked if we could just, if we could save him using our second chance fund. Um, That's amazing. <laughs> and, and, and this is, you know, we hear about these stories um, or, you know, we, we say, you know, your money really does go towards helping things like this. But when we get to see the pictures, hear how this situation touched you, and then we get to see Tito today being amazing. How has, you know, this really, the transformation, I'm sure it was not easy. Of course, today we see and he's looking awesome. Tell me, you know, what happened? How has he really, you know, adapted to the life now? Well, uh, with anyone who adopts a shelter dog, um, first thing you'll notice is they're not going to sleep through the night. Any little noise he would wake up to, um, he didn't quite trust me either. Um, his confidence level has just blossomed, uh, maybe even a few weeks into it. Um, his body condition score was very poor. Um, he's gained a lot of muscle mass that he didn't have, so he's able to run, he's able to jump. Um, he was basically, I think, he, wasn't he basically confined to a crate? He was. Um, yeah. Yeah. It so. was said that he had signs consistent with being forced to live in a crate. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can see just in the studio today, the confidence level is is quite boosted. He's making friends with everybody here. So Including the Great Dane. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> he and the Great Dane are best friends. But it's just really neat to see this, this story right here is exactly why we need these donations to keep coming in. Mm -hmm. It's just so important. And now, Chelsea, you get to work with tons of animals at the Humane Society on a daily basis. What's kind of the best part of it for you? Seeing them go home to their forever homes oh. is all we want to see. Um, that's my favorite part. Well, that's yeah. our favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> that is our favorite. Seeing them walk out the door <laughs> is, is beautiful. So. It is, and Diana, we can't make any of that happen. We can't make this happy story happen. We can't make more animals go out the door into happy homes and make Chelsea happy <laughs> uh, without those donations. That's and, right. uh, you know, we talk about the money and, you know, bringing it in, but this is just one part of where the, that money can go. That's correct, because um, their donations help us, because we have a full-time uh, anti-cruelty officer on, on campus who we will engage right away when experts like Chelsea recognize that an animal may be in, in danger or in an abusive situation. So that helps us there. Um, we also have a program called Safe Haven so that victims of domestic violence, one of the reasons they don't leave an environment is because of their pets like Tito. And so what we will do is we'll take them in through the help with our donors, we'll take them in, we provide housing for them until their owner can, can then take them home again, um, but we protect them. So, and then the second chance fund that Chelsea rec uh, referenced is a fund that donors help us with so that when, let's say a stray comes in or Tito comes in and he needs some special medical attention, then we've got the resources to be able to help him grow to be like this. So absolutely every dollar helps. I, I think this is a perfect example. Chelsea, I want to thank you for sharing your story and, and for bringing Tito today and for reminding us that really the dogs can flourish with, with a little TLC from the right person and, of course, the donation dollars. So thank you again so much. Thank you. And really, come on, how could you say no to cute little Tito and his friends? Helping them live a full life again doesn't take much. Any amount will make a huge difference for the Humane Society and their ability to support abused and neglected animals. Not to mention, you'll be entered to win year-long admission to Reed Park Zoo for you and your family. To donate, you can call 881-7401 or log on to hssaz.org.